Today's the day I've been waiting for for a while. I'm excited to show you how I'm going to take this and connect it with this. Oh, yes. yeah! Mobile can now work with a game controller, not just PS4, but also Xbox. I just don't have an Xbox, so we're going to be showing you with the PS4, but I'll go ahead and let you know what you do with the Xbox. It's not that much different. In fact, it's probably even easier with the Xbox controller, and I'll show you that in the second half of the video when we start configuring it more. So I'm really excited to get into this and without further ado, let's go and just jump in this and get it started. If you're new here, you like tech fixes, tutorials and gaming, make sure you go ahead and smack that like button and go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you here. Let's go ahead and check it out. But first, we're going to go ahead and show you how to connect the controller and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up because there is two parts of the video. So make sure you stay for the whole video. It's very important. If not, you're going to miss steps and you're going to get confused later and end up coming back. So let's go ahead and just get it done in one shot and check this out. First, we're going to go ahead and choose settings. Once we're in settings in the iPhone, we're going to go ahead and choose Bluetooth. My Bluetooth's already on, so all I need to do is go ahead and pair the controller. I'm going to go ahead and show you this here. Basically, it is your PlayStation button and your options button up here at the same time. You hold them both right now, and then it should put in pair mode and it should pop up on the screen. There we go. We can let go. Now we need to just touch that on the iPhone. Think. And we are connected. So now we have this connected to the phone, which is awesome. Now, a few things real quick before we go any further. Yes, this does work with Fortnite. No, it doesn't work with every game. It works with some games that have already implemented it, but it definitely does work with Fortnite at this time because I've tested it. So with that, it does need to be an iPhone and it does have to have the newest iOS 13. It's just an update that came out recently. If you're not sure how to go ahead and get the update, I'll go ahead and put a video up here. My second channel is an iPhone specific channel. So it's all about that. And I just put a video up how to install iOS 13 just for you. So go ahead and check it out. If you want, you can help me out and help me get to that 1000 subscribers and smack that subscribe over there. That would be so appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next part. So the next part is you have to get into Fortnite. So let's go ahead and load that. Okay, I'm back here. So we do have the game loaded right now. It is in touch mode and you can tell that because there's no information around the button saying hit this button to get in there. I just have to turn my remote back on and that'll happen. So I'm going to kind of do both here. So we're going to turn the controller on. There we go. Uh, when you turn the controller on, you have to hit a button or move the stick to get it to, to click in. So we're going to go ahead and hit play. And we're going to go ahead and choose settings here. And then we're going to go ahead and choose that there. So first of all, you have some options in the game area. You can go ahead and change your sensitivity and everything. And again, I'm, I'm using touch at the moment just because this part's easier for me to navigate. And I'll explain why in a moment. Um, so you can go ahead and set these settings the same as if you have a PS4 or something like that. This will be awesome if you're on the go and you want to play. And you have a PS4 or Xbox and you're not there, but you have a nice iPhone. You can go ahead and do this. This should work on all supported iPhones as well. And from what I heard, if you have an iPad, you can go ahead and put it in split screen. And it kind of gives you like more FOV. So pro tip there. All right, so make sure you get that new iOS update. So this will give you a lot of stuff with controllers. So what we're gonna do is go and click on the controller at the top. And here is the main thing that I've noticed. I cannot find how to switch this from an Xbox controller to a PS4 controller. So technically, it's gonna think you're using an Xbox controller. What are the problems with that? Well, the main problem that I can think of off the top of my head is all the letters are gonna be different. So X is actually A, B is circle, square is X, triangle is Y. And if I am missing something extremely obvious, please let me know because I have looked through here and I just don't see it. I have switched through the menus and I just don't see it. You know, you got all these other ones. Like say we go old school, quick build, you got combat. You can go through, change it to whatever you want. Basically, I would say go custom and just set it up however you want. 
and then accept it. Now with the PS4, I know you do use this for the maps, so I'm not sure how you would go ahead and see the map. Guys, you guys are going to find this out real quick because you are insane at these games. So make sure you leave comments down below for anything I've missed. And if there's anything I missed, make sure you check down below for the comments because there are a lot of mobile pros out there. And I just noticed my face is actually covering up the parts that say old school quick builder and everything. All you do is just push down on the controller and you can cycle through them. Select your mode and then you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see if we can play a game. We're going to say don't save right now. And let's go ahead and just choose Team Rumble. Triangle. Let's triangle to start a game. <laughs> let's go and get in it. I'm so excited. This is going to be insane because I'm going to be going against mobile players, I believe. But I'm going to be on controller. So am I just going to wreck people? I don't even know. I like this new screen. I never even seen this new screen. That looks awesome. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, I've been I I really like iPhone stuff. If you haven't noticed, I mean, I made a whole nother channel about it. So, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad. My own voice chat. <laughs> Let's go ahead and thank the bus driver here, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump. And guys, if you do like more videos like this, let me know. Again, it is how to use a controller with your phone. X is. All right, guys, I'm not very good at this. We're just going to go and try to laser one person for the footage. This is so much harder on controller when you're used to PC. Trying to prove to people that's not fake, because I'm sure I'll get someone in the comments that says it. <laughs> Always that one person. You know. <laughs> Where is everybody? You guys can't keep up. There's no that. Want this? Let's see if we get some shock in the limbs. I should have checked to see if aim assist is on. I don't know if it works in this mode, but it would be pretty cool if it did. Alright guys, this is the end of the bad footage. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so bad. But I hope you liked the video and I hope you enjoy using a controller on the iPhone. Once again, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you smack that like button and join the subscribers here. We're working on 100,000 subs. Be very appreciated if you joined us. 
Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.